What's happening guys, it's Cooper Carter here for G66 and on this week's Fractal Friday, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to combine two or more presets into one on the Fractal Audio Systems AxeFX3, FM9, and FM3. Now, every Fractal fan is familiar with the raw power of presets in each unit and just how much tone you can pack into a preset. I've played a lot of shows where I've just used one preset the entire night, but I still think that even given all of that, two of the most underappreciated features of Fractal units are scenes and channels. And I'm gonna show you just how easy it is using those two features to combine two very different sounding presets, a wide, expansive, clean, and a very overdriven classic crunch tone into one singular preset. Now I'm working in the FM9 this week for Fractal Friday, but these methods can apply to the AxeFX3 or the FM3. So my first preset is a beautiful clean, and it sounds like this. <laughs> And my second preset is built around a super overdriven basement type amplifier with a classic 808 overdrive in front for a very saturated overdrive sound. <laughs> So let me show you just how easy it is to combine these two drastically different presets into one. The first thing I'm gonna do is just save this first preset to a new preset number. And the only reason I'm doing this is because I do wanna keep those other two presets discrete. So I'm gonna call this new preset our clean and dirty. So keep in mind this new preset right now is exactly the same as our clean. So we've already got all of the clean tone right here. So let's go to our cruncher, which is gonna be the dirty part of this new preset. And what I'm gonna do is just start saving each of these blocks into the block library, which you can access right here at the bottom left for each different block. So what I'm gonna do is go to this arrow here and just save this drive. It's gonna be called the classic cruncher, and now I'm given two options, save only the current channel or save the entire block. Now, saving only the current channel, will save only channel A, which is this 808, to our library, and saving the entire block will save channels A, B, C, and D. So what I want to do is just save only the current channel here. Next, our amp, again, we just want to save the channel of this amp because if we save the entire block, we will overwrite our clean amp that we have on our other preset. So we're gonna save only the current channel. We're gonna do the same thing with our cabinet here. We have a nice mix of a deluxe tweed and a pig for a little bit of grit there. I'm gonna go ahead and save this, saving only the current channel again. Now with this rotary, we don't have a rotary block in the other preset. So I can actually, just for kicks, save the entire block here. And now on this delay, I'm going to again save just the current channel and same for our reverb. So we have now saved each of these blocks to their respective block libraries. So now let's go up to our new preset which is our clean and dirty. But remember, since we haven't made any changes, this first scene here is really just the clean preset as we would hear it on the clean preset itself. So I'm just gonna call scene one clean. Now I'll go up to scene two and we're going to import the dirty preset into this scene. 
So the first thing I want to do is just bypass this compressor since we don't use the compressor in the dirty scene. I'm going to bypass the chorus as well. And now I'm going to set the amp block, the cab, the delay, and the reverb all to channel B. Then what I'm going to do is go to quick build and add a drive pedal since our dirty preset has a drive. And I'm going to add a rotary block since our dirty preset has a rotary block. Now on this drive, we're on channel A. We could go to B just for your sanity if it makes sense to you to have scene two have everything on B. But again, there is no drive in our clean preset, so I'm just going to leave it on A. Go to our library, import the classic cruncher, and boom, there's our 808 from the classic cruncher. I'm going to go to our amp, block library, classic cruncher. We have now imported that channel to B. I'm going to go to our cab, block library, import the channel to B, and there's our cab from the dirty preset. I'm going to bypass this rotary, but I am going to import our classic cruncher rotary. And then on the delay, I'm going to import the classic cruncher channel to B. And on the reverb, I'm going to import the classic cruncher channel to B again. So now what we have in this second scene, which we will call dirty, is an exact replica of our dirty preset. We have the same drive. We have the same amp. We have the same cab. We have the same delay and the same reverb. And we also have access to this rotary that was in that preset if we want it. So now if I go down to scene one, we have our exact copy of the sounds from the clean preset. If we go to block info, you can see everything is on channel A, which is where we had our clean sounds. So let's take a listen to that. And then if we go up to scene two, which is our dirty, I hit block info, you can see we're on channel B for the blocks that we need for our dirty sound. And we have the exact same sound as the dirty preset. And of course, those who are ahead of me are seeing the possibilities here we have channels C and D left on this amp block. And of course, we also in the FM9 or the AXFX3 have another amp block with four channels. So we could very well import the settings from eight separate presets into this one. So my final step is just to save this preset. So there we go. Two very different sounding presets combined very easily and quickly into one using scenes and the channels and blocks library. Now again, I've just combined two presets here, but depending on the unit that you do have, you could combine many, many more presets into just one preset using eight different scenes. You could be using multiple instances of the amp block, so up to eight different channels of amp. You could be using multiple different instances of delay blocks, so up to four, for example, in the Axe FX3, which will give you 16 different delays, multiple instances of drives, chorus, etc. I hope you guys see the potential here is pretty insane as far as just how many different sounds you can get into one preset. If you guys would like to dive deeper into these incredible units and learn a lot of the tips and tricks that I've developed over the last decade of working with some of Fractal's biggest artists to create tones, please do make sure to check out my masterclass series at classes.coopercarter.com. For all things Fractal Audio Systems, keep it right here on G66. And until next week's Fractal Friday, take care.